right here, I have the RK61. It's a 60% mechanical keyboard. This keyboard has red switches, the one I have, but you could choose between blue and brown. The color I got it in is white. So right now, let's just unbox it. So you go from the bottom here and then you pull up. All right, I already unboxed this, by the way. I'm just showing you. This is, usually has plastic wrap on it. So when you take it out of the box, here's a quick sound test. So let's put this aside, opening the box back up. We have the user manual. It's got a bunch of different things about the keys and stuff. Then you have to open this thing in the back. It's a so uh, back thing. A wire, if you want to do it wire uh, with a wire, you can also do it wirelessly and Bluetooth. That's a really good feature uh, for this keyboard. You have four extra switches. So I got red, as you can see. So you could put them in because this keyboard is hot swappable. Then you have a keycap puller. And that is all from the box. So now let's take a look at it all. So as you can see, I just put on, um, I connected it to my Xbox. So this is a keycap puller. This is for the regular keys. This side is for like the bigger keys. So let's just take off the uh, FN key right on here. Let's see. This is my first time having a mechanical keyboard. So here's a key, here's a like kind of like, what the keycap looks like if it will focus yep there it is um it's kind of just like plastic but it's better than my old keyboard so as you can see this is the red switch so yep there's that and then it's easy to put back on all you got to do is do this yeah so um then for the other side easy i think there you go see it's in the keycap puller um and then there's a middle one then i'm gonna just put it back on the space bar sounds kind of good i guess yeah so that sounds kind of decent um so it also comes with a wire uh it's you plug it in right there so it's gonna be like on the left side of your keyboard um my old one was in the middle and it was and you couldn't uh, detach it and it was wired so yeah and if you want the multicolored one like this one um i would recommend not getting like you gotta really look into it because sometimes they have like just one color and you can't change it so make sure you look for multicolor and here's the four extra switches they're in a bag but i don't really want to open them um so in the user manual right here it says all the stuff you need to know like uh special function keys black light stuff so just so you guys know here's how you change some of the stuff so if you want it into arrow key mode um because you see these have like arrow keys you can just press fn and enter and that just changed it. If you want to change it back. Yeah. So that's how you do that. To change the color modes, you want to just press FN right here. And then this key right here. So that's one mode. Oh, and to change all the colors, you use this button. Green. Blue. And all this, this isn't blinking Um where i'm seeing it for some reason it's blinking on camera i don't know why um so to increase here let's go to like this one for instance to uh, lower the speed you press that or wait why does it look faster this is really weird yes yeah, so that's faster actually um so let's change it back to like yeah this is multicolored. bunch of different modes i would really recommend getting this Look how cool these are. Oh, I want to show you one of the really cool modes. That's not it, that's normal. Oh, it's this one. Do you see as you press it, it changes the color? And then if you put it on lower, it like, it's, it's cool. There's also another one, the next one. Watch this. 
look how cool that is. It does the, uh, it highlights like the whole thing in its row. So I think that's just really cool. Um, so yeah, if you want this keyboard, I have a link in the description. So um, yeah, it's in the price of this was actually really good. It's like $52 around, maybe 53 or something. I think it was actually, it was like 52, uh, 52, uh, 99. So yeah, and in the corner it says, uh, RK Royal Kludge. Kludge? Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna say that right. So, what are my final thoughts on this keyboard? Well, this keyboard is really good for the price of 50 bucks. Um, all the keys sound really good. So yeah, and it has a bunch of different like black light modes. You can change it from arrow keys. It's got even arrow keys for 60%. You can get this in white or black and you can get blue switches. You can get brown switches, you can get red and it's hot swappable too, which makes it amazing. And if you want, you can even like lube it. So then like, all the keys sound better because I know the space bar probably doesn't sound that good. Maybe I don't think the shift doesn't. Actually, it's decent. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.